we didn't really see a top of it. Uh, we didn't know what crate it was. We didn't know much. But yeah. we decided to try it anyways. Here we go. We're going to rock, paper, scissors for who goes first. Yeah. I got my shades on, so it's like <laughs> poker face. We rock, paper, scissors, shoot. On the ground, I remember you, ta you told me that I should bring a headlamp, and I was like, nah, I don't need one. And I was and like, I'm so glad I did. You do you, but <laughs> yeah. I'm never going up a multi pitch without a headlamp, just in case. <laughs> so we started this climb at like 3 p.m., and it's 12 pitches. So we made it 11 pitches up. Yeah, and uh, looking back at it, that was very naive. Very three optimistic. Hours three hours to do 12 pitches. pitches. <laughs> and we were really hauling, like, we were going we're... really quick until we weren't. daylight do we have left? We have no idea, we don't have watch. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> we were looking for a climb to do in Jordan mm -hmm. and we were advised to do this 12 pitch multi-pitch that Arno Petit bolted. Called Jihad. Jihad wraps the whole route, which is actually kind of uncommon for a multi-pitch. Mm -hmm. That there's not another way to get down like on an easier or more direct rappel route. And we decided not to tie any knots because uh, the first time the knot got stuck. I was like shelling out tips to Magnus like you know you gotta follow the chalk marks, watch for the bolts. So I am wrapping, 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 not seeing the bolts like ooh I'm not seeing bolts and then I'm getting into the end of the rope. <laughs> kind of give or take balance of tying a knot at the end of the rope when you're rappelling is that if you're on uh, abrasive sandstone that's really featured, like this root, the knot gets stuck really easily. That sucks. It just like sometimes can lead to really sketchy situations. And I'm like, oh God, I'm in the sea of choss with no bolts near me. And you were hanging there for probably like 20 minutes. And I was like trying to do like, you know, tie it off, tie into my harness, then tie into the, the two ends and then I had to climb up the choss to get back up to kind of find the anchor found the anchor you know what this means right we have to try it again tomorrow tomorrow we'll do it and yeah. tomorrow I'm climbing through the sun I don't care yeah, I don't want this. <laughs> yeah we're amateurs how do you do a multi bitch <laughs> I don't know I eventually found the anchor but it took a long time and there's a lot of loose rocks breaking and it was a really gripping experience. But thankfully we made it and uh, I think it was it was uh, good to see that you stayed calm the whole time, you know? I come here, I come here, <laughs> Give me that, let me, let me. <laughs> Unlike 10 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Funny story, my first big wall actually was like 10 years ago with Magnus and yeah. Um And the rope got stuck, I remember. It is this is, so this is a long time ago so I don't remember much but I remember the rope got stuck and you were freaking out. <laughs> and I just thought that, okay, maybe big walls aren't for Sasha. <laughs> and now here we are. You've come a long way. That's good. Yeah. Okay. The next day, thankfully, we were fine, but we wanted to go back and actually do the climb. So mm -hmm. all 12 pitches of it, and also bring Tommy up to film it. Yep. That wall. Whoop, whoop. In the sun, it'll be hot. And Tommy's gonna do more. Yeah, I am. So we started four hours earlier and uh, we had to climb in the sun because we wanted to be at the crux a little bit earlier. Um, and uh, in the beginning, I was a little bit afraid that we wouldn't be able to get Tommy off there. <laughs> <laughs> it was Tommy's first big wall. It was. To Jumar. And yeah, yeah we like, didn't really know if it was gonna Just send work. Tommy down and get him to drown the route. I'm yeah. not epicing again. <laughs> He took like an hour just to get over yeah. the first bolt, like five meter, meters up. We're baking in the freaking Jordan Desert. I thought you would yeah. give up. I'm not a giver-upper. Yeah. Giver-upper. I'm not a giver-upper. We don't do that on this team. No, we're getting to the top. We're getting. And he just found the rhythm and I was impressed. I was impressed, yeah. yeah. Welcome to my office. So we, we shot the crux pitch uh, in twilight and uh, Sasha and I continued to the top.
we did it, Magnus. Woohoo! We're at the top. We are. <laughs> <You're> Second try. <laughs> yeah, it's again night. When the sun sets, like dark. Really dark. This is it. <laughs> I took Magnus' shirt. That's why I don't have a shirt. <laughs> Warmth. <laughs> And we wrapped back down, picked up Tommy. So I'm just like wrapping off this big wall in the middle of the night. No big deal. And then the three of us rappelled down through the dark, pitch dark. I would say the gold star goes to Tommy on this one, but yeah, we also like... did the route, so. Very stoked. And here all we of are. Us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're all alive. <laughs> <laughs> we did Join it! Thanks for taking the big wall. Yay! <laughs> That's a wrap. Stay tuned for more on my trip through Jordan in the next episode. Also, if you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to my channel for more videos coming soon.